Let's take a look at how to assign a district credit recovery course to your students. Please note that in order to assign a course to your students, you have to have already created the class and added students to that class. Okay. So the first thing is to go to thelearningodyssey.com, enter your login information, and access your account. Once you're in your account, you're going to select Courses and Assignments, and then pick Courses. And over here on the bottom, you're going to select District Courses. This pulls up all of the new courses that are available for the credit recovery as of 2014. You will notice that they all say 2014.CR. That's your indication that it is a course that is new and that can be assigned to students from this point forward. You can also take a look and see that we have Algebra 2 first semester, second semester, and then we actually have Algebra 2 broken down into individual units. So you can assign based on uh, specific areas that students need or you can assign an entire course to them. Before assigning a course, you need to subscribe to it, which can be done by going over to the right hand side and clicking on this wireless looking symbol. That will subscribe you to the course and you'll get a notification at the top saying that you have successfully subscribed. The next thing you need to do is go to the refresh button, click on that. And after you refresh you will see two icons with the course that you have subscribed to. One is the grade book and one is the button to unsubscribe. As soon as you see these icons you are ready to assign the course to a student so you can click on the name of the course and go down to the bottom half, click on Assign All, and then you can pick from the classes that you have created and the students to assign to. So if I say I want to assign this to my students in Algebra 2, if I want all of the students in Algebra 2 to have the course, I click the box next to Algebra 2 and it would select every single student in that course. If I just wanted to assign it to a couple of different students, I would go ahead and manually select individual student names. Click on Finish, and you will get an assignment confirmation, which means that your students have successfully received the course.